Do you know what irony is? Irony is when you finally convince the Triceratons, who invaded your planet, to pack up and leave because the Fugitoid they're so desperately searching for is not on Earth. Only to have the Fugitoid actually show up on Earth. Irony is when the very same energy scan that Don used to prove the Fugitoid wasn't on Earth is now used by the Triceratons to track down the Fugitoid. And finally, irony is when having succeeded in eluding your deadly alien pursuers, you find yourself surrounded by a bunch of heavily armed goons. And it doesn't look like you're gonna make it out alive. I'm afraid it's out of the frying pan and into the fire. On the ground! Hands behind your heads! Assume the position now! I got your position right here! <laughs> Neutralize them! Nice going, Rap! <laughs> When do Earth troops have such advanced weapons? Oh dear. I think I'd prefer to take my chances with the Triceratons. Remember, Bishop wants them alive. April, Casey, what news do you bring of my sons? Actually, we were kind of hoping they were with you. Mm, I fear for their safety. This is not good. I must collect a few things and then I will go find them. Cool. Where do we start? It will not be necessary for you to accompany me, Mr. Jones. Well, you don't know what it's like up there. Those horn-headed freaks are everywhere. Casey's right. No one's allowed out on the streets after dark. We were lucky to make it down here alive. That is precisely my point, my friends. It is too dangerous. But you don't even know where to start looking. I can at least help you track them through their shell cell signals. Hmm. And I've been practicing the moves you taught me. You've been practicing ninjutsu? Yeah, right. No way. What do you think, Casey Jones? Uh, uh, cool move. Of course, you know I could have stopped you. Just didn't want to hurt you. I hate to put either one of you at risk. But only a fool ignores fate and the strange gifts it offers. Well, if it's strange gifts you're after, they don't come Ow. any stranger than Casey Jones. Now listen, the way of invisibility takes a lifetime to master. Circumstances, however, require us to train as we go. Observe and learn. Lesson one. Don't look so hot. Leave it to Casey to put the crash in crash course. What was that? Sir, I think it came from down there. Fan out. Search pattern try Zeta 9. If someone's hiding down here, we'll find. Lesson two. The way of silence. Where are we? At the end of the line, for you all. It's me you want. Leave my friends alone. 
Actually, Professor, it's you I don't want. Who are you? Well, Donatello, I'm the man the government relies upon for certain projects. The kind of projects they'd rather not dirty their own hands with. Hey, how do you know Donnie's name? And the Professor? I know all your names, Raphael, and much, much more. And yet we know nothing about you, not even your name. How rude is that? Very well, Michelangelo. When you scream my name, pleading to make the pain stop, begging for mercy, you may call me Bishop. I don't understand it. Everybody has always been after me in the past. Actually, Professor Honeycutt, you're a valuable commodity to a certain interested party. Hello, Professor. General Blank? Great. That's the guy that was chasing down the Fugitoid back on the Hoonip. What's he want? Oh, right. Escort the Professor to the lab Agent Bishop has so graciously provided us with. Yes, sir. All right, General. You have your robot. Our deal is concluded. Yes. The Federation thanks you and your government for the assistance. The Professor's teleportal device will finally be ours. And with it, the Federation will once and for all annihilate the accursed Triceratons. Our ultimate victory is at hand! Do as you will with the Terrapins. <laughs> no! Attention all Federation units. We have the Fugitoid. Commence Operation Broken Horn. Here? But that's impossible! You caught you with your horns down, didn't I, San Ramon? <sighs> There's nowhere to run this time. We Triceratons never run. We fight as we live, with honor and nobility. This is all your fault. Why did you not foresee this attack? But, Prime Leader... You ordered me to direct all our resources to search for the Fugitoid. Search no further. He's right here. What? No! Surrender now, or face certain destruction. We never surrender, Federation scum! We'll fight to the last Triceraton! All ships, attack! <laughs> General Blank, we're done hiding, gentlemen. Deploy all Federation deep cover fighters. Blast the Triceraton scum to the far side of the galaxy. Whoa, check it out. We must not get distracted. Come. Man, I wish I had my hockey mask. I feel kind of naked without it. I don't know. I like being able to see your face for a change. Yeah? No kidding? <clears throat> I said we must not get distracted. Oh, uh, right. Well, the good news is the shell cell signal is less than a mile away. The bad news is it's coming from across the river. Then we must find another way across. <laughs> a big mistake, Bishop. You can't trust that blank guy. He's no better than the Triceratons. Federation, Triceratons, it makes little difference to me. I help one destroy the other, and they promise to give me what I need and leave the Earth alone. But enough talk. Time for your dissection. Uh, guys, you know how I always like to take apart the toaster to see how it works? Well... I suddenly know how the toaster feels. 
Fascinating. Your genetic mutation is virtually identical to that of the only other specimen I've been able to find. Other specimen? What you talking about, Willis? Weatherhead? The shell cell signals haven't moved in a while. Which means the guys might be held captive. Or unconscious. Yeah, either that or the... Uh... Never mind. like this kissing thing's getting to be a habit. Why? Years of research, and I've never seen a mutation like yours, or that of your crocodilian friend over there. Finding the exact source of your mutation is going to accelerate my ability to create an army of super soldiers by at least two decades. <laughs> Pity you won't survive the next two minutes. <laughs> Whatever this place was, it seems abandoned now. Yeah? Well, if it's abandoned, what are we sneaking around for? I don't get it. According to the scanner, we should be right on top of them. But there's nothing here. Nothing on the surface, perhaps. But what about below ground? Wait! When I was drowning before, I was heading toward a big light. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. What? No, uh, not that. There really was a light down there. An underwater entrance, perhaps? Anymore where those came from. Master Splinter? No, thank you. It would only slow me down. Miss 
Miss O'Neill? She's good. They are not here. Yo, April, I think that scanner of yours is busted. I'd say it's working perfectly. Wait. They are near. We must continue to search the facility. No point in leaving empty-handed. Hey, what's this thing? Something best left out of your hands, Casey Jones. This hallway is laden with danger. We must proceed with caution. We must execute our movements with absolute precision. I meant to trip the alarm. Silence. There's no one huh? here. The intruders can't have gone far. Spread out and search. Go. Their scent. It grows stronger up ahead. Sorry, I can't administer a sedative, but it might corrupt my findings. I can't look! For the sacrifice you're about to make, your country thanks you, Michelangelo. No! What? Another mutation? Stop them! <laughs> Keep away from my son! <laughs> Splinter! Man, talk about cutting it close! <laughs> Help me release your brothers! Huh? It is all right now, Raphael. We can't leave without the Fugitoid! Don't worry, we won't! Oh, man! Leatherhead! Can you hear me, buddy? My friend... I didn't think we'd ever see you again! The last time I saw you, our old lair caved in on you! Well... <laughs> I am very thick-skinned, quite literally. Get them! Wake up, Raffy. Christmas came early this year. Thank you, Santa. Goodbye to Michelangelo. Oh, man. I really hate goodbyes. 